Win your share of 5 million rand. Get a home loan and get one entry. Open a Nedbank account, move your salary and you'll get another 10 entries. Simply dial star 120 star 762 hash to enter. Make things happen. Nedbank. Estate living is not only a sought-after way of living, but has become quite popular, and it generally comes with a lot of safety. We have Tim Akinusi with us in the loft, who's the Head of Sales and Client Value Management at Netbank Home Loans, to help guide us through buying into estate living. Welcome back, Tim. Thank you. So, estate living has become quite appealing. Why is that? Yes, um, I think uh, over the last uh, 10 to 15 years, you've seen a lot more developers um, build homes in, uh, in a clustered fashion. Mm -hmm. um, so as a result of that, uh, it's become very appealing for new entrants into the market. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of people will choose a home in an estate as their secondary or primary home. Is this financial or is it more a lifestyle choice? I think it's both. Um, from a financial standpoint, um, being able to buy into an estate, especially a brand new one, you, you get to... Um, be spared the cost of uh, transfer cost and uh, registration costs. So it's a bundle option that people would, would then uh, you know, buy into. From a lifestyle standpoint, you're finding more and more entrants into the home loan or housing market, in essence, um, right. would be choosing a state living as the preferred option to go into. Yeah, and one of the benefits of living in an estate is feeling like you're part of a community and I'm sure among many other benefits. What are Absolutely. some of the challenges of living in an estate? So there are some pros and cons with it yeah. and I think from the challenges side of it, um, I would say that being in an estate, you need to contend with the fact that you are in a community and you're part of a community. So uh, a lot of the times you are not very flexible in terms of how you want to design your house because mm -hmm. it's all part of a uniform approach to doing things. Uh, you would also be subjected to levy costs that are being set by the body corporate, mm -hmm. which you as a homeowner would be part of. So again, uh, that's an added cost that you would need to factor into mm -hmm. your monthly expenses. Uh, thirdly, there are a lot more rules that you'd need to abide by because you're now part of a community. So um, a lot less um, of an opportunity to kind of set your own standards, etc. Yeah. So Tim, as a bank, do you have a bias towards um, estate living or standalone homes? It's a good question, Bonnie. Uh, we absolutely don't have a bias. Um, if you choose mm -hmm. to buy in an estate or in a standalone um, and environment, you'll be proud to finance your home provided that the valuations are correct in terms of the value of the place and mm -hmm. that you can afford it. So uh, the question of whether or not you want to live in a standalone or an estate is really down to your individual personal preference in terms of the things that are important to you as a homeowner. Oh, thank you so much, Tim. That was very insightful. So estate living is exciting and offers a lifestyle that is both enjoyable and safe. You can get all the information you might need to make this move. For more information, visit www.nedbank.co.za forward slash home loans for more information. Win your share of 5 million rand. Get a home loan and get one entry. Open a Nedbank account, move your salary and you'll get another 10 entries. Simply dial star 120 star 762 hash to enter. Make things happen. Nedbank.